got out of control. I mean, he's like a baby and all. It's just the things he's been doing lately, they, just, they don't make sense. What she's trying to say is, he just can't be left alone with people he doesn't know. That's why we brought you here. You know, we heard a lot of good things about you online and on television. And you are a master when it comes to putting little ill mannered babies and children in their place. Well, listen, you know, I'm going to need a bigger picture if you could just kind of flesh out little, the little babies' behaviors and so I can, you know, get a more tactile sense of what's happening here. Well, I don't even know where to start. He only seems to eat the female babysitters and kill the male babysitters. <laughs> get off! What she's trying to say is he's only a bad baby when he's left alone with people he doesn't know. I see, I see. <sighs> Alright, here's what we'll do. Now tell me the incident. I want you to describe the incident that led you to call me at 2 a.m. in the morning. Well, yesterday Buddy and I went out for a nice candlelit dinner. So I hired the next door neighbor Sam to come over for a few hours. Thanks so much, Sam, for agreeing on babysitting baby cakes. Buddy and I rarely get to go out. Now remember, Sam. Do not go in that room under any circumstances if you hear any noises whatsoever, all right? We have them under heavy sedation. A big plane can crash down this motherfucker right now, and he won't wake up. You understand me? Okay, but I've been your neighbor for like two years now, and I still don't know what little baby cakes looks like. Well, let's just say he doesn't like the outdoors that much, and he's very malnutrition, so we don't like taking him anywhere. Well, the doctor say he's special. But anyways, we gotta go. We're running late. We gotta get to the restaurant. I'm hungry as hell. Just call us if you need us. Right on, Mr. Driscoll. Don't worry, I'll make sure you save us out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Baby Cakes has been having very bad diarrhea lately, so if the air smells like shit, just spray a little bit of air freshener and when we get back, we'll change his diaper. Bobby, Bobby, come here. I want to see this thing already. Gideon, did you see the baby yet? No. Did you see the baby? Relax, relax, relax. What? Take your time. No, 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 no. Man, I got the camera here. We're gonna be raging famous. We're gonna be all over the National Enquirer. We'll have hookers, sluts, jacuzzis. It's gonna be famous. We have all the time in the world for sluts. We only have a little bit of time until the parents come back. Uh, okay. Right. Can I get the camera? Fuck! The stories and rumors I heard are true all along. Oh my god. <sighs> Did you know this thing beat two babysitters before? Two females! You just got one right up! Have I heard? Who hasn't heard? Okay, let's get this thing started. <laughs> Okay, I think I've heard enough. Let me see this baby of yours. Oh. He 
Don't worry about it. After all, that is my job, taming these little bastards. <laughs>
thanks, Mr. Roy. You did everything we hoped you'd do. <laughs> All the years of practicing Satanism. are you talking about? We brought you here because of your exorcism powers. Give it to my darling. <laughs> now me, Buddy, and Satan's baby cake will take over the world and everyone will bow down to us. <laughs>